Right, we're here. This is uh, Radio Yorkshire looking ahead to the weekend's footballing action as uh, we look at Huddersfield Town taking on Man City. I'm Andy Lawson. I'm going to play as Huddersfield. Tom Maguire. I'm Man, Man City. City. <laughs> you scored a worldy of a goal in the last couple of days on FIFA in this building. Yes, I did. And you are Manchester City. Yes, I am. I am very excited about this, but... I'd like to apologise to the Bournemouth fan I upset last week. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you did, right? didn't you? And I also said I don't rate Bournemouth, so what did they go and do? Win 4-0. <laughs> well done, Bournemouth. That's why I'm going to try and say, oh, Man City are going to lose this one, so Huddersfield win. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> say this, say this. <laughs> Oh, uh, so, so we've gone for the teams that we think are going to show up. Yeah, I mean, from a Huddersfield point of view, it's actually really difficult because obviously the the hammering at Bournemouth last uh, last time out. You've got the fact that Wagner seems to have gone with more attacking fullbacks recently, but I think against Man City he might go defensive. So I've kind of gone fifty fifty with my option. I've gone for Hadid Janai as a right back, but I've gone for a slightly more defensive Lerva over Scott Malone as my left back. Right, that's my thinking. Well, is Scott Malone now though? I thought he was out. Uh, not that I've seen, right, okay. unless no you're remembering something that I've just completely forgotten. Well, I was just checking um, a, an app that mm. uh, gives up obviously the team news and, mm. pr- and the predict, uh, not the prediction, the uh, table, yeah. and the, things like that. And yeah. it said unlikely to play or will not play. Okay. So, for instance, the other week when it was Schindler because of the red yeah. card, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was uh, in that. Oh, okay. I believe Scott oh. Malone was on that. But then again, yeah. we might, I don't know. It, I've but, locked out then because I just took him out anyway. So I'm playing with Christopher Lerver. Yeah. Um, as we see in Man City, I mean top of the Premier League and looking like the team who are just going to stay there I mean look Leroy Sane straight off I mean you look at him and you think that is a scary footballer to play against De Bruyne Sterling thanks Aguero Silva Silva yeah <laughs> who now looks like Pablo and um, Pablo Zabaleta because of the haircut yeah yeah it's I, very weird he, he seems to have thrown everybody with that haircut and he's had it all season but no one can get used to him with that hairstyle like I say it's like Pablo uh, Zabaleta just basically mm. went undercover yeah he's apparently at West Ham <laughs> yeah but no one no, no one's, one's seen, seen him in ages <laughs> <laughs> missing in, in London yeah. <laughs> no but yeah um, there's plenty of there's plenty of attacking threat but you'd be hopeful that Huddersfield can they've got a pretty alright defence mm, attacking yeah. maybe a little bit lacking certainly against Bournemouth because you know 4 nil yeah, but- was poor but you've got Moy you've got Inns mm. who we hope will get into form Magic Van La if he scores another world but De Plattre's alright Mooney off the bench maybe yeah, yeah. There, there, there are the options there and I think what we've seen with Huddersfield is realistically Town have to score first um, they they can they can then hold on to that. That's the way that it goes. So you're playing Fabian Delph at left back uh, because that's um, why, uh, according to again to the app. Ah, uh, okay. That's where he was last time. Okay. Um, so yeah, so Town if they can get ahead can hold leads. They are very good at that. We've seen that against Man United uh, in the, the the previous game against the Mancunian side at the John Smiths. But it's it's whether or not Huddersfield will will go for it in this game. I can't quite decide because I think if you if you go for it against Man City, I think you are going to get potentially hit very hard. Ooh. Um yeah. Cuz if you, if you if you I mean with City, if you block one option and you say, "Right, we are going to concentrate so much on Sane." Well, look at everybody else. And yeah. so I d- I don't know how you I don't know how you cope with Man City. And I was not overly complimentary about City at the, the start of the season. I didn't look at the recruitment and think that's brilliant recruitment. I just looked at it and thought how many fullbacks do you need yeah. basically. But then I look at it now and I think they've been well they're epic, aren't they? They uh, many would say no, they can they can go the whole season oh. undefeated. That big and bold claim, I don't know. I don't mm. we wait and see. But imagine, let's just say uh, kick off what four o'clock on Sunday yeah um, let's say by seven o'clock Sunday mm. Huddersfield Town little old Huddersfield Town have managed to win at the John Smiths over mm. Man United and Man City that would be incredible oh yeah yeah I mean it, it's almost well it's not that I haven't contemplated it because of course I have but you just, you, won't just, you can't imagine it if you'd have come into this season and you'd have even said you know half of that people would have thought you'd you were crazy you know Ah, but you know we're fifty percent of the way there. Yeah. Uh, the only thing for me is that City oh, don't God. have Victor Lindelof playing for them, and that that, <laughs> that definitely helped us when it came to Man United. How he, is he thirty million? I have no idea. When you look at uh, the fact that Christopher Schindler's one point eight. Oh my God. Oh come on, Radjiv. Uh Yeah, when you consider that one point eight buys you Christopher Schindler and thirty odd million buys you Victor Lindelof, then things have gone wrong somewhere with, with Man United scouting things have gone wrong 
Yeah. I think I'm in the that my in the opposition half for the first time this game. And is it a goal? No. no. Uh. But I think this is what Huddersfield have to do. Huddersfield have to come into this game and just completely stop City and just not let them near the ball in the attacking areas. Because if you, if you do, they like here <laughs> they are going to cause you problems. And I think one thing that you've got to remember with Huddersfield oh! is that Huddersfield at this stadium. What's this? Why have we got a free there? kick? I what happened no there? Idea. Oh, it's fixing. Uh, it's match fixing. <laughs> I'm claiming it now. David Wagner's match fixed, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big capital letters, allegedly. <laughs> um, what were we even saying? Oh, uh, can't remember. I'm really sorry. You were on about obviously uh, you're holding off the uh, Man City. Oh, that's attack it. Yeah, because yeah. they can break and oh. Yeah, and as we saw, that was it in the cup last season. We play City. We play them. Um, take them to a replay at the Etihad. We're at the Etihad. Harry Bun scores, but basically they, they they kick us. But they needed to by that point. In the first game though, we are playing against this Man City team who cannot get a decent <laughs> a decent attack going against us you've got Sergio Aguero who's just missing stuff like a championship forward who's out of form so we've proven recently under Wagner that we can we can do this so it's now just about proving it again on Sunday afternoon it's a fair point yeah I think that if if there's one thing that I like about David Wagner's uh, Huddersfield it's that when they go out and entertain irregardless Mm. I think it's always you'd rather lose a game than, than draw one that's what I've always liked. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's. I think he's decided in the in the Premier League. Ooh, that where in the Championship up until the last ten games, it was about as you say, entertainment and, and being an attacking side. I think he's realised that at the Premier League level, if you just go to attack, teams are are so skillful, and particularly a Man City, that. You, you're never gonna, you're never gonna survive it. So you have to be clever. So we aren't just gonna go for it entirely. But it'll be interesting to see what what he does. Oh, come on down. Uh, see, I think this is more realistic with Huddersfield not able to break out. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes about this. Like I said at the very beginning, with the the two fullbacks, I've gone with the defensive on one side and attacking on the other with Hadad Janai. Who can I just say? You, quite, was, you, you really do rate, don't you? Oh, I love Hadid Janai. I think Hadid Janai, handball. I think Hadid Janai is a brilliant football, but that's not anything on Tommy Smith, who, who's you know place he's taken in the. You side. know, I was going to say. Uh, what, I love Tommy Smith. Big miss, I'd think. He, 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 more, he strikes me as a bit of a leader. Yeah, no, he, well, he's, he's um, yeah, he's, he wears the armband, so he, no, well, you he, know, he, I mean, yeah, on, on the pitch. Well, well, no, just in general, like, you can obviously have captains and you can have leaders. Yeah. is what I'm saying. Whoa! And he strikes me as a leader. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of like in the, uh, you know, Dean, Dean Whitehead, you'd think he's a bit of a leader as well. Yeah. But yeah. Dean, Dean Whitehead in a different way because he's very, very scary. Yeah. <laughs> well, Looks yeah. like he could kill you in his arms. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I think with um, with Tommy Smith, it's like, if you look at, like, last season, we were certain games, like Rotherham. Come on! Oh, Rotherham away, we need a goal. What? What's he given? Pep's not happy. Pep, Pep I'm not happy too. Why? Oh, off? No. Yes. Oh. oh, Sane strays off. But like Tommy Smith last season, we play Rotherham. Uh, we need a goal. We beat Rotherham three two. Tommy Smith scores that that winning goal. So no, he's 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 an iconic player for us. I think at the moment. But just at the minute, I'm on Hadid and I partly because I like the fact that there only seems to be about three people in the world who can say his name: him, me, and Shout out to Mrs. Hadid and I. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Hi, Mother Shah Hadid and I. Uh, Right. She's a big fan. She's a subscriber. Again, <laughs> again, allegedly. No, come on, get it out, get it out. There we go. That's the sort of thing that I think City will do. They'll get a scrappy goal, and yeah. then from there they'll just take it. Yeah, yeah. takes apart. Um, I see it's Vincent who scored. He came back in last week. Didn't yeah, he? and should have gone. Should have been sent off. Look really off the pace. Look really, really just not with it. We were talking about leaders. He is a leader. Oh, he is an He's absolute a massive leader. leader. And again, look at this, right? You know, there he is. He's the one putting the ball in the back of the net. Nearly, as, nearly as got saved. Who's <laughs> like, that number twenty six? Yeah, again? nearly take Schindler <laughs> a save from a bizarre part of the body, but you know. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Let's see what the mighty hood. Is oh, you're going do. high pressure. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this then. Time for City to let the cats out of their bag. <laughs> We're gonna have such a good performance. Pep Guardiola is gonna grow hair. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, that will have to be some... There I am laughing, we'll ignore that. <laughs> I think what that's the that first... Well, 
was supposed to be a laugh, but I've no idea what happened. Well, you were vomiting for a second. <laughs> Okay. But do let us know, of course, like we say, um, every week we ask for your uh, score predictions. I was going to say, what bodily functions next? <laughs> uh, let us know your score prediction for, obviously, Huddersfield versus City. I think it's um, it's going to be a tougher task for you at the Etihad, even though you know everyone slates the Etihad for having no atmosphere, blah, blah, blah. blah. It, uh, City at home, still de- very, very tough task. Go on. Oh! oh. So cl- And again, doesn't score for me. I... I- played earlier away from Radio Yorkshire I was at home I thought I'm just going to have a game and Tom Ince actually did score but about four chances each of which up to that point just missed somehow who are you playing against though? I I played against Man City oh right fair enough just to get an idea of not that I need an idea of the City team but you know just to get an idea of exactly what I'm facing oh my god I've just thought as well Aaron Moy he's uh, playing against his former team yeah that's interesting yeah well I I wanted to know I'd love it if him to get a worldie now well I would and I would love to know how connected he feels to Man City bearing in mind that basically they they brought him in and immediately loaned him him out out. yeah oh oh (laughs) go on Danny Williams scores Long range ones for me all the time. He is brilliant in He's this. He's getting taken by the crowd. There we go. Where's the Where's the stewards? There we go. Oh, at this stage, I don't care. Look, I'm controller down. I'm just watching this. Yeah, I'll press it. No. Yeah, yeah, don't. <laughs> oh, good goal. Go on. I've got to turn it on now. I'm dead. I've got to, I've got to turn my level up. A half of football where we go into it. One or. It's good. It's really good. All right, look. The where are the stewards there? Yeah. Get, yeah. get those men a off him. Bizarre sort of body positioning going on there from Danny Williams, <laughs> but we'll ignore that. Uh, what, do you, what have you made of uh, Danny since he came in from Reading? He is somebody who hasn't had that many op- opportunities when he's, time. Oh, right. I when thought, he's played. I thought what was going on here. I haven't come out of the foul. <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, half time one off. But no, Danny Williams, I think he's done, he's done what was needed of him when it was required. He came in, to be honest, I think, as a not a first team player because you've got that midfield is sorted it's Aaron Moy Jonathan Hogg but Danny Williams gives you that slightly different yeah. angle on things and he can be a bit more attacking than Jonathan Hogg I'm liking the fact though that in the uh, look at the stats in the US men's national team the most recent friendly he was captain of ah. first game he played for them in a, I think it was 12 months and yeah captain the side so I was very happy to see that well, I think he's he's warranted it, given how good he was at Reading last season and how he's uh, it's caught it's, when he's been on and he's taken this season. I think he's been pretty good. Yeah, I would agree with that. Ooh, uh, I thought for Reading, and I didn't know we were going to sign him at this point. I thought in the playoff final, I thought he did well. In the semis, as they played Fulham, I thought actually he was a bit anonymous. So when we signed him, I wasn't entirely sure who we were getting, but I'd seen you know previously great player. So, uh, yeah. No, I, I like him, though. I mean, there's, there's nobody in this Huddersfield Town squad that I don't look at and think you could do a job for us. Even if you look through, like, the the more reserved players, if you will, like uh, uh, Joe Lolly, who in an um, under-23s match this week oof, scores a hat-trick. Yeah. I don't think he'll be in the starting eleven. I certainly don't, or, you know, even in, in the squad. But I just think the fact you've got that there gives us as a team some great options. Definitely. I think that's the that's the thing though. I think you've got decent squad depth in the sense that they're all fighting for a place as well. It's not yeah. like I don't know. You would you'd be thinking maybe Ince, for example, would be able to do a job. But if he dropped out, who would you put in for Ince? Uh, it, well, the thing is with the way that we play, it depends what position you think Ince is. If you think Ince is a winger, well, we've already got our VLP or yep. so. If you think he's number ten, well, there's Casey Palmer coming Casey back. Casey Palmer, yeah. Chelsea loaning. This is the thing. We're, Striker we're not, is the sort of same with Mounier, and obviously yeah. got the Potter as yeah. well. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not a huge squad, but we've got players who who cover. You know, and everyone. I think this is something that David Wagner's always been very keen for players to know is. There might be a player who is, let's just say, you know, the the standard right back. He's the first team right back, but the left back. So the right back who will come in in his place is, in the case of this season, Flo Hadjani. Last season it was Martin Craney. You know, the, everyone knows what their role is within this within this squad. Yeah, I think well, that's you know, when you're looking at City and they're obviously arguing about Phil Foden, obviously trying to get into the Champions League squad mm. against Feyenoord. He came on as a sub. So I guess who? Um, uh, Feyenoord. 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 It was I got Feyenoord. It wrong. Sorry, Feyenoord. <laughs> 
sorry. Um, and that's good for them. They've got mm. youth players. Yeah. All well and good, but mm. I think you've got plenty of players probably there that aren't going to get a squad, uh, get a yeah. squad rotation, whereas Huddersfield, you think everyone's going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, realistically, every single person in the squad at Huddersfield could at some point feature. Even if they feature largely as in a cup game, they are, they're there to play. No one's there just to make up the numbers. Yeah, definitely not. As a, as a thing. And, and I've, I've just brought off... Go on, David. Ooh! Bang No outs. What? Oh. Was it in? No. no. <gasps> I thought it was Backstanchion, backstanchion. I, I wasn't worried. Yeah. Oh, that angle looks like it were in. You know, like that wide, you know. Whatever. Personal God. space issues. No, <laughs> FIFA issues. <laughs> All right, I want to win. Not because I want City to win, I want Huddersfield to win. Because I'd love it if Huddersfield, everyone's like, oh, Man City are going to be undefeated. Oh, they're going to be like the, the great, the invincibles of Arsenal. That's not how everyone talks. But um, I wish they did, though. If Huddersfield beat them, you'd be like, get it. Yeah, I think when you look at, so, when statements like that are made, it's always nice when it's a, an underdog who who goes and gets gets the victory against them. I look back to, actually, I'm going to talk rugby league for a sec, and last season, and it was, or oh, season before, it was Lee who were going to go undefeated in the championship. Oh, first, first game. First game, Batley Bulldogs beat them. And, yeah, straight away, th- what have we given here? It's an offside. Oh, OK. Right, come on, Aguero. Time for your time to shine, son. Aguero! Uh, what, what do you make to Gabriel Jesus or Jesus or who? I think it's good because obviously Aguero's I'm, gonna, I'm not making out like he's an old fogey that's going to be you know retiring soon and everything but obviously he's it's time to bring in a, a sort of a newer striker at City and yet Aguero has such impact Ooh. off the bench and here's who's Go on, pre- I do think Aguero's still got plenty about him and I think he's great but I think he's going to be an even bigger impact off the bench and here's who's it's pretty decent, I think. But, but is, is Aguero going to accept being on the bench? Well, is that, you, we do know. I think what, he's got a year left on his contract. If that, I don't know. So, I, I should know that. I've, got, I've completely forgotten, but I know he's not signed a long-term deal. But would you not think... Oh, Go on. Would you not think that if he gets that... I mean, he got that sniff last season of the fact that he wasn't necessarily first choice. Do you not feel that ultimately he and those who represent him, his agent, so they can't have him sat on the bench? Um, maybe, but then again, you know, sat on the bench for however many million probably a year is pretty decent. Oh, still. yeah, yeah. But <sighs> teams in China, for want of a, you know, will we'll definitely play you and will pay you that sort of money. I mean, look at look at Carlos Tevez, you know. Yeah, and that's true. Sort of Hulk. Money. Hulk. Why? I, I really want to know this about Hulk, and I, I can understand because it'll be the finance, but I want to see Hulk play in a league that isn't Russia, oh, no. isn't isn't China do you know what I mean I want to see him play at a higher level and he's probably now too old to be at his best yeah. at that higher level but I love Hulk as a as a concept as well I mean you know he's got that name for a reason he's a big guy and he's a winger and I like that I, I would respond but I really just want to score now yeah I know I can tell Tom Maguire has oh, oh no. come on Tom Maguire has <gasps> gone quiet oh, it's like well Tom Cardiff with the sliding challenge right I'm going to make an actual sub rather than just a suggested so bear with uh, you know what, I might join you on that. I think uh, Silver's not impressed me. Uh, let's bring on Yaya. Yaya, yeah, 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 yeah. Yaya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cola, 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 cola. <laughs> right. Oh, should we just do that? Should we just sing the, the Torre song for like the remainder of the video? I mean, if you unsubscribe because of that, we don't want your subscription. <laughs> Why are we not going back to the game? I don't know. Right. I'm taking my hands off go. the controller. <clears throat> right, I brought Silver off and Yaya on. Right. Uh, now, we, we, we talked about Lursel. Um, he was in net, obviously, for the Bournemouth game, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he so was. So do you think it was a lot to do with him or his defence? No. What? Or just no. because Bournemouth were that good? It, it, was, it was a case of we go two goals down. First one, I think... People who argue, ooh, people who argue that there was a free kick to Huddersfield in the build-up to that, I think are completely right. There, there was a free kick to Huddersfield. Had a deny, was just taken out. How the ref didn't give that, I don't know. So we we end up giving away a, a, a corner. They score from the corner, so that's one nil. With had a deny not on the pitch, please note. Uh, and then the second one. There's, there's calls for offside so by that point you're 2-0 down in the Premier League go 2-0 down against anybody uh, offside and you're you're always going to have a trouble 
Yeah. You know? So yeah. Yeah, I take it. I think as well, international breaks, we don't seem to do well after international breaks. I've noticed this against Swansea. Everyone thought, oh, you know, Huddersfield, they'll do really well against Swansea. Well, hopefully, we Huddersfield, battered. hopefully Huddersfield will do all right now because the next one's not till March. Come on, yeah, yeah. Oh, again, close for a second. I thought it might have gone in. Ah, oh. Tommy Smith, on he comes. We'd be bigging him up. We better score a worldie now. As a right back, that would be impressive, <laughs> but we'll see. I call Steve Mounier winner header. There we go. All right. Let's have an attack from the. Oh, go on, Abdul Hamid Sabiri. Fled it through. <gasps> go on! Oh, no! <laughs> You uh, thought you'd got you got, I did, you thought I did, you'd got I did, it. I did, I did, I did. I thought that's him. Oh, what a save. World class from Edison there. Well See, done. this is on TV on, on Sunday. What do you think is being said on the TV at the 86th minute if that kind of thing happens? I, I don't think it can be broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, City. Come on, no, hold them out. Hold them out. Don't lose it. Yes, no. right. And ping. Right. <laughs> And ping to Leroy Sane, everybody. Oh, Tommy Smith. Well done. Who I think I'm right in saying we actually got from Manchester City as well. We've got a lot of the City connections in, in this team. Ooh. Oh, my God, no. Go on. No. Oh. We haven't mentioned Edison. And I saw, I think it was 442 on Twitter said that he was the signing of the summer. Um. Was the Which I don't know if I'd agree with that, but certainly well last season we were talking about City keepers. This season, there isn't really talk of city keepers. It's just he's been he's been good. He's done what was needed. Yeah, that's true. Are you going to do what's needed though in the next three minutes of game nah, time? Nah, that's it. That's get him done. Draw. Go on, Mounier. Go on, Mounier. No way. Oh my God, no. Take him out. No. <laughs> right, there we go. Nearly, nearly. Well, nearly. one one. I think. Look, I think honestly, they would take that Huddersfield. I think oh, David yeah. Wagner would be yeah. chuffed to bits with that. Yeah. No. I. I think any town fan, if you say now. We don't play, but we take a one all. Yeah, yeah, all day, all day. Um, I think in this, we didn't see City out there full flowing best. And I'm not saying anything to do with the player. I actually think it's the Huddersfield defence, the way that it was marshalled here. I think Christopher Schindler being back is, in the real world, a huge deal. Nothing on Martin Craney. I just think it's that stability of the standard back two that we're used to. And um, I think we will also see Huddersfield having the odd breakaway chance or so like this. The sort of What's your score prediction for it? I'm going to go bold. If we can beat Man United, we can beat Man City. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not having that, but... That's uh, what, I, what are you going for then? 2-1. Two one, two one. Really? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. well, I'll be honest with you. I think City are going to have a big, big performance. But I think Huddersfield will hold them off. I think it'll be something like 2-0. I don't see Huddersfield scoring in this, but again, I'd love to be proven well, wrong. Well, yeah, yeah, really hope, would. Hopefully, Town can prove T Mags wrong and prove me right and get a victory on uh, on Sunday. It's the four o'clock kickoff, as we've seen here in our, in our preview. Tight with chances, one all is how we've ended here. Remember, you can comment with how you think the score is going to be on Sunday, as T Mags says. Oh. Get letting us know what you think, and if T Mags has insulted you in any way, like the Bournemouth fan last week, feel free to comment also. And uh, we'll be back with more FIFA previews uh, next week after Huddersfield Town have bagged themselves three points against Man City.